Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to Civilization 5. We're playing Venice. We are up to turn 162. Our peace treaty with Ethiopia has just expired and we are researching astronomy. Hopefully we're going to get the uh, caravels out very soon so we can find the other two civilizations. Um, they are out here somewhere but we only have four of them on this continent. Um, let's have a look at what we're doing here. A unit needs orders. So we're just going to fortify um, this composite bowman in the city of Susa. Um, Susa's building a monument which is fine with me. Uh, let's quickly have a look. Uh, we are going for the university in three turns and then after that we are going to try and get the Oxford University. Hopefully we'll be able to get there uh, before Ethiopia gets it. Uh, Ethiopia has been wonder spamming over the last few episodes and they have just a huge city um, down to the south of us. So hopefully they're not going to continue on <laughs> in that uh, in that same vein. Uh, what have they got here on this mountain? I think they've got that. Is that the chicken chicken itza on that mountain there? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, uh, where are we? A unit needs orders. Let's quickly have a look. We are uh, connecting up these cities. Um, so I do want to build a network from Harar to Pasigade up to Venice as well. Uh, we do need a road. Continuing on up to Pasigade, so let's do that. Uh, there are a few other improvements that we need to do here as well, but I don't have the workers uh, for them at the moment. Um, I'm just going to fortify this bowman in the city as well. We should be able to upgrade these guys uh, once we have the technology for it. Um, Ten turns until astronomy. It seems like a long while, but once we get this university, that will hopefully come down. Uh, in two turns, it's going to give us a, a big bonus uh, to our science. Okay, Ethiopia has completed the Borobudur, so they are continuing on with their wonder spamming. Looks like they're just, just trying to get all the wonders that they possibly can. Uh, one turn until we get our library. Um, let's send these workers down to continue this road to, uh, to Pasagade here and that should boost our our income a little bit as well okay so let's build a road here and we do need to choose production Fantastic science has bumped up from 70 odd to over 100 now, um, which is absolutely awesome. So we'll check the rate of the research now. Yes, down to six turns now, which is okay. So we're back down to six turns, which is a little bit better than the turn, 10 turns it was out before. Um, so we've just finished the library. We should be able to make the uh, the Oxford University here, which is going to give us science plus three and a free technology and two slots for great works of writing. Now I was considering going for a cultural victory. I'm a little bit unfamiliar with the new um, the Brave New World system um, with tourism so I guess I'm gonna have to really explore that and hopefully that's gonna work out <laughs> in this series um, but if, if it doesn't work out then uh, we'll have to go for uh, some other kind of victory. Maybe a diplomatic victory might be uh, easier with Venice. Um, Hal Selassai has completed the chicken itza, so he's, he's in two turns, he's got another two wonders. It's just absolutely crazy. Okay, let's build a... Okay, that road's been done, so we just need a couple more roads here to Pasagade, and that uh, we can get these two cities uh, connected. Harar looks uh, incredibly small here, looks very, very tiny, a population of four. Um, let's have a look and see how the other cities are doing. Suso is now population of three. They were stagnant for a little while, but we've got them connected up to the, the main city of Venice. And um, over here we have Kathmandu. So they're producing a harbour. So we should get Kathmandu connected as well. Uh, let's quickly have a look. We do have a... Um, well, they do have a workshop free here. Let's have a look. Engineer points. Um, two production plus engineer points. They're also producing a great merchant. They have the market here as well. Um, but they do have the caravansary, which does increase the trade routes, extra gold for trade routes. So maybe I could send some cargo ships um, over to Kathmandu and we can start some trade routes from here. Let me just have a quick look at Venice. And I wanted to have a look at the... Um, here we go. Okay, so we haven't filled out the specialist um, spots yet. So let's have a look. We've got two turns until a new citizen is born. Uh, food plus 15, we've got uh, production at 40. 
I don't want to hurt my production too much, but I obviously want the uh, the merchant points for the great merchants, and I also want the the scientists as well. So plus three science is uh, pretty fantastic. So what happens? Is this going to hurt us too much if we get some? Oops! If we get some great if we get some specialists in here. It's not going to hurt us at all, really, if I if I put those two scientists in there. We have lost the workshop position, though. Let's have a look and just see what happens here. Three turns until a new citizen is born. It's hurt our food a little bit. How about if we go for the market as well? Four turns until a new citizen is born. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's fill out these uh, these specialists. Uh, let's get them going. Um, definitely want that bit of a boost to the science as well. Um, and we're, go we're going to have a great merchant in a few turns. So we need to think about where we're going to, uh, to send this great merchant. We have our Kahoika over just to the east, and we also have Melbourne down here as well. We are allied with Melbourne, um, so I'm not sure if it's worth actually taking them over completely, um, or should I just stay allied with them and, and maybe take over Kahoika, um to the east. But it is my, my access through down to Ethiopia. If ever I need to attack Ethiopia, um, Melbourne is pretty much the only way I'm going to get down there, unless I want to take out Spain uh, Madrid here, which I don't don't really want to do. Um, we've had our little war with uh, Persia and Ethiopia, so I just want to get the science built up and the culture as well. We're going to get some tourism happening and um, see if I can actually go for a, a cultural victory uh, in the end. Um, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a challenge because I haven't had a, a cultural victory before in the Brave New World. So. Um, yeah, hopefully I won't make too many mistakes. I'm sure I'll make a few mistakes, and uh, you're free to uh, to let me know in the comments down below if I am uh, making a big mistake. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, let's see. We are at turn, just coming up to turn 169. In a few more turns, we are going to have the Oxford University, and that is going to bump up our science a little bit. We have a new merchant. A great person has been born, uh, so we'll. I guess we need to figure out what we're going to do with this great merchant. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking at the moment just to head over and take over Kahoika, um, just because I do have a an alliance with Melbourne as well. I've got a pretty strong alliance with Melbourne, um, so I may just take Kahoika. What do they have here? They've got the lighthouse, it seems, and I mean it's a fairly small city state. They don't really have anything except for cocoa here. Um, they really don't have a lot, but I don't really have many other options unless I go and do a uh, kind of a trade mission and get a bunch of cash. But this Quebec City down to the south is going to take me ages to get down here, though. Um, if I send my... Well, it won't take too long. Fairness, if I send my merchant around the coast, it will, well, it will take a few turns to get there. Um, and there's not really anything here. It's not really any better than Kahoika. Um, yeah, no, I think Kahoika is the way to go. Um... It's pretty much, yep, okay, we're going to go with Kahoika. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this worker has completed the road, so we need one more road to connect Harar to Pasagade. So let's, where's oh, that done already? Is there a road there? It doesn't look, oh, there we go. It just took a while for that option to to come up. Okay, we have Mafio Polo. Um, I should send him out with a, uh, a military unit, actually. Where are my horsemen? I don't want them to... Uh, I don't want this anything to happen to this merchant um, while he's heading out over there. So we'll just wait for the uh, the horseman, if you just wait there, Mafio. And I'll, I'll give him an escort <laughs> over to uh, Kahoika. There could be barbarians, ships over here, you never know. So I'm just going to just gonna wait. Actually, we have the Great Galleuses. I could... I think it's going to be pretty safe to send him over. Okay, Ethiopia has completed the Great Mosque of Jen. Uh, we have researched astronomy, so we can't get our caravels out. Um, and we have um, entered into the Renaissance era. Uh, so what I might do, actually, is just send my, uh, my Gallius over here, just to make sure there's nothing that is going to hurt my merchant if I send him across. So, looks like it's all good. Uh, we'll send him across to Kahoika there. Uh, we do get to choose some more research as well. So let's quickly have a look and see what we can um, we can pick. I can continue on 
to uh, navigation for some bigger ships, more powerful boats here. Um, otherwise, acoustics for the Opera House and Sistine Chapel, uh, the Musicians Guild as well could be pretty cool. I do want to strengthen my uh, crossbowmen. Maybe we can... Um, my composite bowmen, I should say. Maybe we could upgrade them to uh, crossbowmen here, um, just in case we do need to defend our cities. Uh, we have... Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go for machinery and uh, just fill out some of these medieval tech, uh, medieval era, era technologies. Um, let's send these horsemen up just as a little bit of a escort as well, just in case we are at turn 170. We have one spy. Um, okay, I completely forgot about this. Well, we can send this spy, I guess, to Ethiopia. We might be able to steal a technology from them. From them. Um, we can send it to Persia as well. Persia aren't doing very well. Um, Spain are doing okay, but definitely, if I could steal a... a um, a technology off of off of uh, Ethiopia here. So we're going to move Geosafat and let's move him to Addis Ababa. Okay, so let's set him up as a spy. He's going to travel over there. And uh, we may be able to steal some technology from uh, Ethiopia. They are doing fairly well. They have a um, score of 766 at the moment. So they are still a pretty powerful nation. The other two um, civilizations on this continent aren't doing so well, but let's go next turn. We have another two turns for the Oxford University. One turn now. So next turn we're going to get the uh, the Oxford University. Um, let's send my merchant across. He's moving uh, quite slowly, but uh, let's send him across with his uh, his escort there. <coughs> And I'll just send my uh, great galleys just around the coast here, just to make sure <coughs> the coast is clear. Um, we need one more road to connect up uh, both of these cities. So we'll do that. And the horseman can just wait there for, uh, for Mafio. Is it Mafio? Let's have a quick look. Mafio Polo, that's the one. Okay, so we're sending Mafio Polo over to Kahoika. To uh, hopefully take out that, uh, well, not take out the city, to buy out the city. Okay, we have produced the um, Oxford University. We have science of 117 now, which is absolutely fantastic. We get to choose a free technology as well. Um, so, definitely, we could go for the observatory for plus 50% science. So, this is going to be an absolutely huge science boosting episode with the university, the Oxford University, and I think we're going to go for the observatory. We are um, positioned right next to this mountain, and I'm, I'm pretty glad now that we did actually move that one spot just to get uh, next to this mountain here, so that we can produce the observatory for the extra 50% uh, science boost, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's move, let's move uh, Mafia Polo just across a little bit more. He's slowly working his way over to that city-state. Unfortunately, they didn't give him a horse, so he's ha having to go there on foot one uh, step at a time, but uh, he'll get there eventually. We get to choose a free technology as well. Um, let's quickly have a look. We could go for the most expensive technology, I suppose. For uh, We could uh, grab navigation. It is going to take uh, 13 turns for us to, to, uh, to get that, though. I kind of want to go for acoustics, um, but I don't think I'm going to build any of these things right now, so I guess I should I guess I should go for the navigation, and let's have a look and see what that leads on to. It leads on to archaeology over here as well as biology. So we're going to go for... Yeah, it does eventually lead on to the museum as well, um, with more great work of art slots and um, archaeologists. So let's, let's go for navigation. We'll grab that free technology there. The winds and the waves are always on the... Um, we do have quite a bit of gold now. Um, I wasn't even watching our gold, but uh, that is uh, going up quite nicely. Um, so I guess we can purchase... Oh, this is going to be expensive, isn't it? A caravel for 600. That really is expensive. If we produce a caravel, how many turns does it take? Let's have a look. 
we can produce a caravel in three turns. Shall we wait or shall we waste our money buying it? Um, what I might do is buy the caravansary. Um, that will increase our gold uh, when we connect to other civilizations. So I'll, I'll purchase. How much does it cost to purchase the caravansary? Um, 580. Again, that's pretty expensive. Um, I could just buy the observatory. Let's just hold off. Um, let me just have a think about this, what I want to do with my gold. Um, I don't want to waste it. Susa is producing a amphitheater over there. Um, you know what I might do? I might actually buy a cargo ship. Let's purchase a... I do have five slots for a cargo ships. Um, so, they're fairly expensive as well, actually. 480. But let's buy... We're going to buy one cargo ship here. I'm going to send it off to Kathmandu and see if there are any good trade routes uh, from that city. Um, just because they do have a caravansary, so they should get uh, a bit of a bonus there. Um, so let's have a look. We do need... Is this road? Has this road been completed? No, we need one more road here. And that road has been completed as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's go and grab these... Let's go and build a pasture here. Uh, then we'll grab those gems as well. Um, the horseman can just wait there for... Uh, Mafio Polo, and I'm just going to leave the Gallius here as well. We are up to turn 172, 173 now. The turns are going a little bit slower because I've got a, a little bit more to, to worry about. Um, GPT from Isabella ended. And... Pearls, okay, so I need to get that going again. Let's have a chat with Isabella. Um, see if we can trade those pearls again. Let's have a look. Um, let's trade. Let's trade. I have citrus, don't I? So let's go these. Uh, let's trade these pearls. Um, and we're going to trade for gold per turn. Um, it's not even close. Can we do four? I think it's going to be three. Um, three gold per turn. I think is what they're. They're giving me now. Okay, three gold per turn. Fair enough. And uh, let's exchange embassies here. There we go. Okay. So we've got that little bit of a gold boost there as well. Um, I guess I could start sending money to some of these city-states as well and uh, seeing what they have to offer. Um, none of them are going to give me culture, though. We have uh, Quebec City, I think, is a uh, maritime. I think they're both maritime... Uh, city-states over there. Um, let's send Polo over to over to the city-state over here. There we go. Just leave those horsemen there as well, and the Gallius can just sit there. We are getting machinery in three turns, the observatory in four turns. So I'm really looking forward to that. We should have. Uh, science over 150, which is absolutely amazing because we started this episode with about 70 science, 72 or 73 science. I think we started this episode. So if we, if we finish 150 plus, we're basically doubling our science in a single episode, and I think that's pretty amazing. Um, we have a cargo ship. Okay, let's send this over to uh, to Kathmandu. Um, they do have the caravansary over there, so it should. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see what trade routes we get um, next turn over there. Now, Ethiopia is quite hostile towards me, um, and I'm a little bit worried about them sending their military uh, into Kathmandu. But it looks like it's okay. There's just one swordsman there at the moment, which is, which I guess is fine. I do have a little bit of money now. Um, you want to send me horses? I don't really want horses. No, I'm going to refuse this. Um, I wonder if she wants iron. Do you want iron, Isabella? Five iron. Um. Oh god, okay. No, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> She's asking for a far too much there. Forget that. I think I'll just keep, hold on to my iron for the time being. Um, Okay, three turns to, until the observatory. We can get the caravel out, and I do want to explore the rest of this map. Um, can I just skip?
There we go. Okay, next turn. He can move. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Um, yeah, next turn he will be uh, buying out the city-state of Kahoka. Actually, we only have two happiness. Um, so our happiness has been reduced a little bit. Which could mean uh, we'll go into the negative for a few turns, but yeah, well, hopefully it's not going to hurt us too much. Let's establish a trade route from Kathmandu here. We can send production back to... Can we send production back to Venice? We can send production back to Venice. Nine production back to Venice. That would be pretty amazing. Um, let's have a look at what else. We've got 10 gold here per turn. Uh, Kahoka 10 gold. We're, we're buying out Kahoka, so that may have to change. Manila 10 gold. So that's pretty amazing. We can get 10 gold per turn here, uh, which is not a bad trade route. Otherwise, we can get the production back to Venice. I, I think I may give Venice the uh, the nine production here. Um, just so I can start building maybe some wonders. Let's have a look. Let's send this back to Venice. There we go. An extra nine production has uh, been sent back to Venice. Oh, we've got two turns now until we make the observatory. So I'm still pretty confident that we are going to maintain our kind of dominance over the ocean. I do have these uh, great galleuses um, still here. Okay, the greatest work, Hail Selesai. 36.5 production by all their cities. We are quite bad down here um, at 14, but we only really have kind of one city here that we're working with. The others are, are puppeted states. So let's go to the Mafio Polo. Um, if we conduct a trade mission, we get to 1,200 gold, uh, which is... Uh, which is a decent amount of gold, but we're going to buy the city. We'll get the extra science and the culture as well. Uh, let's buy the city state. There we go. Okay. And I will send these horsemen over. I think there are some ruins over here as well. Yeah, let's go and have a check out these ruins. Um, let's send this... What's this worker doing here? Oh, that's the... Is that the Cahoican worker? Um, let's send this horseman over to check out those ruins. Um, looks like I have a new worker. Uh, is there anything we need to do over here? Has this been... There's a plantation there already, so that's fine. So we've got some cocoa. Um, I do need another worker, um, definitely around my cities as well. We can get this iron. Uh, who needs an order? The great Gallius, uh, this worker down here, has completed the road. Has that road been completed? Yes, it has. Okay, so we've linked up Pasigade. And why is our gold being reduced all of a sudden? Oh, because we had trade routes with Kahoika. Okay. So we have lost our trade routes with uh, Kahoika, so we've lost some of that gold. Um, so I'll have to set up some new trade routes. Um, I think next turn that's going to happen. Um, but we have co uh, connected these up. So let's grab this uh, these sheep here. We'll make some past. We'll make a pasture there as well. Um, okay, yeah, these cargo ships need to set up new trade routes. So let's have a look and see what we can do. Um, here we go. Let's send gold. Let's get some gold from Mombasa here. Um, there's another 10 gold there, and I think we can do it again. We may need to send this cargo ship to another another city. Let's have a look and see what trade routes we have. Um, we can trade with uh, Spain, but I don't want to give them three go three hour uh, science per turn. I really don't. Um, Pasigade, uh, Pasigade, Cahoica, we can give production to Cahoica. Are they building anything worthwhile? Um, what we're going to do is actually send this cargo ship here. We're going to send this cargo ship to uh, Pasigade. Um, I did realize that uh, Pasigade actually has the Colossus as well. So I think the uh, the Colossus um, does give us extra gold for trade routes. Let's have a look. Um, uh, Venice, Pasigade. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so they do have the Colossus. Um, trade routes, other players make to a city with the Colossus. We'll generate an extra two gold for the city owner. Okay, so that's when other civilizations are creating a trade route with us, we get an extra two gold. So it's not trade routes out from um, Pasigade. But it doesn't matter, we can uh, make a trade route from Pasigade maybe to uh, to Mombasa as well for an extra ten, ten gold um, next turn. So let's quickly have... I am minus ten happiness. Oh, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Uh, we took out Kahoika. Um, we do need to do some trading here to get this happiness back. Uh, we need the silk as well. Um, so let's quickly grab this silk. First of all. 
Um, let's have a quick look and see if we can trade with anyone. We definitely need to uh, work on our happiness. Um, I actually don't know why it, um, our, our happiness was plus two. Um, and now it's down to negative 10. So we do need nice. some luxury resources here. Um, we're going to grab some more silk. Um, Darius has nothing that we can grab. We can sell this cocoa though. Um, and horses and embassy. You want horses and embassy for five gold per turn. Um, there we go. Nice okay, well, I'll give him some horses as well. That's fine. And uh, we get the extra five gold per turn there. I may actually need to go and buy um, a few a few uh, buildings here that are going to give us happiness. Uh, the Colosseum is next to two happiness here. Um, it's going to cost 500 gold though, which is going to be quite expensive. I guess we can produce it. Now, we're getting the observatory. Let's quickly have a look um, in two turns. So we're going to quickly do that, and then I'll have a look at... Um, trying to uh, fix this happiness issue. So uh, I'm going to send the Gallius. Now that we have Kahoika, um, I'm actually going to send the Gallius just out the front here just to protect this this city. Um, it's not growing at all. It's stuck at 11 population. Um, is there a border growth anytime soon? Border growth in 40 turns. Okay, so it's, it's yeah not doing so well. We are getting 12 signs from it though, uh, which is Okay, we're getting some gold and some science, um, but yeah, everyone is unhappy at the moment, <laughs> which is going to slow things down quite a bit. The press is the best instrument for enlightening the mind of man. And improving him as a rational. Okay, we do have machinery, um, which means we can upgrade our. Bowman to the uh, the crossbowman there. Uh, a great prophet has been born in the city of Venice. Fantastic. Uh, we do have these extra bowmen here as well. So let's leave one in the uh, one in the city there. And can we check out these ruins over here as well? Um, let's have a look. One more turn until we have the observatory. Uh, now we do have the great prophet. So what can we do with this great prophet? We can enhance the religion. Um, we're going to add two new beliefs to our religion. Now, we do actually have a religion, Tengraism, which um, did actually surprise me quite a bit um, because I wasn't expecting to be able to get a religion with Venice. But let's go and enhance our religion. We can spread the religion. Um, Uh, let's have a look. We've got 16 followers of Tengraism. I guess we can actually have a look and just, I just want a reminder. Uh, we do get plus one gold culture from jungle tiles. That is our belief. Um, we get plus one gold for every four followers and we get plus one production, production for each follower. Um, okay. I may actually enhance this religion a little bit. Um, we do get to adopt a policy as well. Uh, we're heading down the patronage tree at the moment. We can unlock un uh, rationalism as well, um, which gives us 10% science while the empire is happy. We're not actually happy at the moment, moment unfortunately. Let's have a look at this one here. Uh, scholasticism. All city states which are allies provide a science bonus. Um, Okay, let's do this. Let's go Scholasticism. We do have um, allied status with Melbourne, uh, so they should be producing um, a little bit of science for us as well. Um, can we quickly have a look and see if they are giving us science? Uh, Melbourne here. Uh, is it going to tell us what they're, what they're giving us? Let's have, have a quick look and see if we can find out how much science they're giving us. They're giving us four science a turn. It's not a lot, but it is a little bit. Um, they do have ivory and jewellery. Now, I guess if we can become allies with another state, maybe we can do something with this uh, this happiness here. Um, so let's quickly have a look. Um, can we become allied with... Uh, we have ivory already. Does anybody else have resources that we need? Um, Manila has whales. Um, let's have a look. They're currently allied with Ethiopia. Um, if we do ally with them, we will get the whales. Um, we do need, how much do we need? 56. We're at 20 at the moment. We need another uh, 36. We need another 36. Let's, let's do this. We're going to ally, become allies with Manila. 
Okay, there we go. We should have whales. Um, I think that's going to change in the next turn, I hope. Uh, we should be getting their whales. <laughs> Hopefully that's going to going to work for us. Okay, we do get to choose research as well. I'm just going to go chivalry uh, for the time being in four turns. Let's enhance our religion as well. Um, we do get a second follower belief. Um, temples provide two culture and cities with five followers. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually go for the hermitage. We may be doing that. So I do want to go down the culture route, culture and tourism. So if we do um, produce the hermitage, we're going to get five culture and five tourism. Um, so I'm going to go with religious art. And the enhancer belief as well is going to be... Uh, let's have a look... I do want something that's going to protect our city. So we're just going to go with Defender of the Faith for plus 20% combat strength. Um, there we go. We're going to enhance that religion. Okay, fantastic. So I just have to remember to uh, to go for the uh, hermitage uh, when that opportunity comes up. Um, one turn until the observatory. Uh, let's have a look. We have... Um, the deal has ended with Darius. Let's quickly have a look. We need to... to redo uh, that. Until. Let's trade with Darius. Let's trade pearls. Um, he's not giving me anything. Is there, is there something that I can get for a happiness? Let's go to Ethiopia. What do they have? Um, do they have anything? Silver. There we go. We don't have silver. Oh, but they have pearls already. Oh, okay. What can we get for the silver? What do you want for this? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Well, they're quite hostile with us. So I guess that's not going to happen. Let's say goodbye to uh, to Ethiopia and not do any more trading with him. But we do need to send our ships across. Um, citrus. Do, do I not have citrus? Um, I'm pretty sure I do have citrus. Let's close this quickly. I don't have citrus. Why do I not have citrus? I do not have citrus yet. That is ridiculous. Um, okay, well, let's get this. TBN? Let's grab this citrus for now, just for this happiness. Um, what do you want for this? That's just being absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I did attack some civilizations on this continent, so I guess they're, <laughs> I guess they're not very happy. Um, how about a seven? Um, no. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're just going to get the uh, the extra gold uh, with Spain. So we're going to. Adelante. Sorry, not with Spain. With Persia. Let's quickly go back to uh, to Persia. Here, um, let's trade the uh, pearls here. Uh, what we give me for this? La um, bichera. They're only getting three gold per turn, but uh, they will take it. There we go. So extra three gold per turn there. Um, we are unhappy. Um, let's have a look at what we need to do here. Okay, so let's run up. Let's grab this citrus as quickly as possible so that we can uh, improve our happiness for our empire. Uh, we've got workers over here as well. Um, so let's grab this... Let's go and grab this other citrus over here. It's going to take four turns to get there. Um, we have the cargo ship here, so let's establish a trade route. Um, let's get... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on a second. So this trade route is coming from uh, Pasagade. Uh, so we can get the extra gold or we can get the extra, extra production. I think I may send production back to Venice here. Uh, yes. Okay, extra production for Venice is good. Uh, one turn for the observatory. Let's have a quick look. Uh, we're getting 50 production per turn, which is good. Uh, return to map next turn. We should get our observatory back. Um, our observatory out, I should say. Um, let's just leave the Great Gallius there for now. Um, <laughs> Ethiopia is uh, um, trolling us a little bit there. Uh, we are definitely very unhappy. Um, that that did happen very quickly after I took uh, Kahoika. I guess it's the uh, the population here and 
the um, just having another puppeted state has really hurt me quite a bit. So we are going to have to work on this um, this happiness here. But we have uh, produced the observatory, so we are getting 155 science per turn. We started off at 72 or 73, so we have doubled uh, doubled the science in a, in a single episode. Um, let's quickly have a look. Choose production. I'm going to have to um, buy or um, produce. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with the the Colosseum. Uh, for two happiness here, so that's going to take two turns, and I will have to buy probably coliseums in the other puppeted cities as well. Um, so we are going to get our um, our ships out to explore the rest of this map. Uh, that is all the time we have for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode of uh, Civilization Five.